explain about the concept of plant tissues with the help of this flowchart. Okay, what is tissue? Tissue is a group of cells which perform a common function. In plant body, we can see mainly two types of tissues. Those are meristematic tissue and then permanent tissues. Right? So what are meristematic tissues? Meristematic tissues are called as uh, they are dividing tissue. That means the cells which are present in this tissue are actively dividing cells. So they are called as dividing cells or dividing tissues. And these tissues they divide and they form new organs in plant body. Okay. So these meristematic tissue depending upon their location they are classified into three categories. Those are Epical meristem, intercalary meristem, and lateral meristem. Okay. Next one, permanent tissues. What are permanent tissues? So here, meristematic tissue, whenever they undergo divisions and they form new cells, and the cells formed by the meristematic cells take up a specific role and lose the ability of divide. So as a result, what happened? they form a permanent cells or permanent tissues right so this process of taking up a permanent shape and size okay and a function is called differentiation so what is differentiation differentiation means to change their structure and function that means after the formation of these meristematic cells those new cells they undergo a permanent shape permanent structure and permanent function that is called as a differentiation okay so here two types of permanent tissues are there and the two types of permanent tissues are simple permanent tissues and complex permanent tissues what are simple permanent tissues simple permanent tissues means they are made up of only one type of cells so this tissue it consists of only one type of cells and they are going to perform a single function so here simple permanent tissues are again three types those are parenchyma cholenchyma and sclerenchyma okay these are the three types of simple permanent tissues parenchyma is living tissue and cholenchyma is living mechanical tissue it is called as living mechanical tissue and sclerenchyma is a dead mechanical tissue right next one complex permanent tissues what is the meaning of complex permanent tissues it means more than one type of cells are present in this complex permanent tissues okay and they work together as a unit okay i repeat again what what are complex tissues complex tissues they consist of more than one type of cells which work together as a unit so here complex tissues are of two types those are xylem and phloem these xylem and phloem generally they are called as vascular tissue they are present in vascular bundles they helps in the conduction of different materials okay so first if you take xylem in this xylem it consists of four types of elements so here what i what i said here complex tissues means there will be presence of more than one type of cells right so here in this xylem there will be presence of four types of cells what are the four types of cells uh, four types of different type of different cells here okay these are tracheids and vessels xylem fibers xylem parenchyma okay these are the four types of elements present in xylem and what is the main function of xylem it conducts water and minerals okay and in this xylem elements i mean four xylem elements first three those are tracheids vessels and xylem fibers these three are dead tissues they are they consist of dead cells whereas xylem parenchyma consists of living cells or living tissue right and here let us take phloem phloem is also second type of complex permanent tissue and it also consists of four types of elements what are the four types of elements sieve tubes companion cells phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers okay and what is the function of phloem the function of phloem is conduction of food materials okay and these in these four 
elements, first three elements, those are CO tubes, companion cells and the flow and parenchyma are living tissues. They consist of living cells, whereas phloem fibers, they are dead tissues or dead cells. Okay. And phloem fibers, generally they are also called as bast fibers. Right. So, this is the overall idea about plant tissues. Okay, in the next class we will discuss in detail about each and every tissue that is meristematic tissue separately and simple permanent tissues and complex permanent tissues in detail with the help of diagrams. I hope you understood this concept of plant tissues. Thank you.